Hey what's up guys Imran here back again with another video and today in this video I'll show you how to get AOS IP ROM based on Android Nougat for your Redmi Note 3 which has built in Google Assistant and then I'll give you a full review of this ROM. Watch this video till the end and let's get started. All you need to do is to download these two files from the links in the description and then save them into your SD card. Now boot your phone into the recovery mode. Once you are in recovery mode, tap on wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik, data and cache. Now swipe to flash. Go back, tap on install, select the first downloaded zip file, swipe to flash. After the flashing is completed, go back, select the second downloaded zip file, now swipe to flash. After the flashing is completed, tap on reboot system. Now your phone will be booted into the AOS IP ROM. You can find the new boot animation, which is pretty decent. The first boot may take about 5 to 10 minutes, so do not worry. Let's check the Google Assistant. Long press the home screen button and you can see that Google Assistant is working fine. This ROM is provided with built-in pixel launcher. If you open the notification panel, you can find the blur effect in the background. You can adjust the amount of blur by heading up to the settings. Now let's go to settings and you can see that this ROM has built-in root access. I have given the root access to these three apps. Now go back. Tap on Owl's Nest, tap on Advanced Settings, tap on Blur. Here you can adjust the amount of blur effect in the background of the notification panel. Now go back, tap on Gestures, toggle on Brightness Control and double tap to sleep. By doing so, you can adjust the brightness by sliding your finger on top of the screen. And you can double tap at the status bar to turn off the display. Go back, tap on Hardware Keys. Here you can disable your Hardware Keys of the Redmi Note 3 because it has on-screen buttons. Go back, tap on Navigation. Here you can enable or disable the on-screen buttons. Talking about the battery performance, the battery on this ROM is working absolutely fine. The only issue that I faced is, sometimes torch does not work. And this ROM does not have built-in multi-window feature, which is one of the new advancements of Android Nougat. That's it about the video guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.